Alicia here with Terra Drift, and surprise, surprise, and we're talking about coffee again. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Uh, because we love it. We love it at home, on the road, in the backcountry, when we're camping, just all the coffee, all the time. So naturally, we love testing out new and innovative ways to brew a cup. But I'm gonna be honest with you, French presses have never been my preferred way to make coffee. Josh's either, mostly because no matter how you brew it, you somehow end up with what I can only describe as coffee dust in the bottom of every cup. And I don't really care for that. But these presses from Brewtrek may have actually solved that problem. Meaning French pressed coffee is back on the menu at Terra Drift headquarters. Let me break it down for you. For starters, Brewtrek has a whole line of travel ready, outdoor friendly coffee presses and drinkware. They're all double wall insulated, vacuum sealed, and feature the brand's brew stop technology. Here's how it works. So you do your coffee to water ratio and let it steep as usual. But then when you push the plunger down, the brew stop plate over the mesh creates a physical barrier between the coffee grounds and the brewed coffee above, stopping the brewing process entirely and preventing over extraction and, you know, a bunch of gross grounds in the bottom of your cup. Uh, so yeah, it makes better coffee. Also, each of these guys has some pretty cool design feature. This is the Overlander Travel Press, and in addition to being insulated, this bottom bit screws off. Why does that matter? Because the press pushes all the spent grounds down into the bottom, which means you can just unscrew it and dump them out. Uh, easy cleanup on the go? <laughs> Yes, please. It brews 24 ounces of coffee, and yes, you'll want to make about that much, because if you try to make enough for just a cup or two, there won't be enough water and grounds to come up above the brew stop. The Double Shot 3.0 Travel Press, on the other hand, is designed for just one or two servings, aka 16 ounces. And yes, the bottom also unscrews, but this time, it's a separate compartment for extra grounds. Yeah, extra grounds. So if you're camping or on a road trip, you can keep another serving or two right there in the mug with you for quick and easy coffee making. Dope, right? There's even a tiny little vacuum seal cap in there to keep your grounds fresh. Plus, it fits into a cup holder and is even carabiner friendly. Oh win, and both are spill proof, and come in a handful of cool colors, and have rubbery bumpers on the bottom so they get less banged up and won't slide around as much on your van countertop. Anyway, we'll drop a link to both of these in the description below. And if you have any questions about these Brewtrek mugs that we didn't answer, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Then give this here video a thumbs up if you dig what we're up to, and hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future gear reviews or outdoorsy guides. And check out Terra drift.com for even more content that you won't find here on YouTube. And come follow along with all of our adventures on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Terror Drift. And as always, thanks for watching. Now get out there, drink better coffee, I mean please, and wander on. Seriously, there is no excuse for drinking crappy coffee just because you're on the road. It's not that hard. And okay, all right, I will be the first to admit that I have done instant more times than um, my palate would have liked, but this is just too easy. Like seriously, the coffee grounds just are in the bottom of the cup. Like all you have to do is pull over. You're pumping gas, whatever, scooping some new coffee grounds, going to the gas station, get a little hot water for free. BT dubs, that's free hot water. And uh, you have yourself a decent cup of coffee, not gas station coffee, decent coffee. Same goes for camping, man. Don't drink cowboy coffee. It's terrible. There are grounds in it. Mid-afternoon coffee pick me up. Which one should we go with 16 ounces, 24? You know what? I would like my heart to not explode. I'm gonna go 16. Happy caffeination.